show and connection here. So I'm going to go ahead and start. First thing I want to do is do wall ball. This is a cool strategy I learned where you can bounce the ball off the wall as far as practice in, in doing uh, the mode of driving and keeping everything together. So you just keep bouncing it off and this is in regular training mode. Bouncing it, it's good at centering and keeping the ball straight, understanding your controls. This is good to practice, I think, you know, five to ten minutes right when you start playing. Try not to score a goal. That was an accident. And the best way to keep to get started is to have the ball rolling towards you. Of course, I'm not hitting it centered. All right, so I'm getting it started. And you just want to keep the ball up in the air, not scoring goals. Very sloppy, sorry about that. So I have a list of different things I want to try out. So the first thing is wall ball. There we go. So you have it coming back, and then you just keep practicing going in and out, back and forth. Oops. It's all about control. There we go. And one another thing to keep in mind is momentum. So you always want to be going. You don't want to like hit the brakes and hit backwards. You want to keep going, progressing forward to maintain your car's speed at all times. There we go, like that. Of course, I can't hit it straight, but this is all the part of the practice. There we go. So you want to have it coming towards you. So then it comes at an angle and then it pops up in the air. So that's good. Another thing you can do, and I want to I want to test this one out, is drive and crash straight into a wall, and then it, you maintain your momentum going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to turn off the ball cam so I can just drive straight into the wall. And I hit the wrong button, so let me try that again. Straight into the wall. I didn't, oh, ball cam, I don't need that. Okay, so I'm going to jump and bounce. Whoop, I guess that didn't work. Okay, so if I boost and jump into the wall, and then, hmm, didn't work how I was hoping. I was hoping it would bounce straight off going backwards in the opposite direction, and it doesn't seem to be working. They're trying to go up. Maybe I need to go at a different location. They all seem to have ramps on them, so maybe I'm not jumping high enough. Oh, I know. I could do a jump off the wall. Let's try that. Nope. I scored a goal. Yay. That was the slowest goal ever. Hmm. All right, well, I will not try to do that one then. So it's good to practice what you can do in the game. Another thing I want to do is um, make the ball, it's called a pinch. When you pinch the ball, so I'm going to make it roll here, and I'm going to jump at it and then pinch it and try to do a shot. for high speed shots. So I'm going to make it roll right there and then burst and then jump on it. I wonder if I have to have a certain number of amount of speed to get that going.
All right, let's try going that way. And then I jump. Hmm. Well, let's try another pitch. So if you go against the goal post and then you and you go uh, fast against the goal post and hit the ball, you can shoot it off in the opposite direction um, at a really high speed. Let me see if I can do that. I think that would be even a little easier. If I just put the ball, this would be like in a defensive play. So if you have the ball right here and you want to quickly score a goal, oops, I meant going the other way. All right. Don't roll in, just stop. This ball seems like it's got a mind of its own. Don't you ever slow down, ball? Maybe if I had a ball cam on, I could have better control over it. Let's try that. Okay. No, don't go in. Ah. This pinches stuff is uh, sounds easier than it looks. All right, pinch ball against all own post much harder than it sounded. Here we go. Ready? Nope. All right. Maybe that's a little bit too advanced for me. I'm going to go ahead and move on. Let's try uh, touch the ball as it lands and pressing backwards. So I have to pop the ball up in the air and then touch the ball right when it lands. So let's, let's pop the ball up. There we go. Maybe this is the whole wall ball maintaining speed. I need, oh yeah, I do have unlimited boost. Let's just boost it all out. Hmm. Wish I could just make the ball bounce like straight up and then just practice reacting towards that. That would probably be a better thing. Check some. Forgot to turn that. There we go. All right.
Alright. Jump straight into the wall and bounce. Maintain speed in the opposite direction. Okay, I wasn't able to get that one. Squish the ball in the center against the backboard with all four wheels. Ah, so this is about air dribbling. If you're air dribbling, like say you get it and you're coming towards the other goal, and you got the ball right in front of me like I do. I don't know why the ball didn't come with me, but there we go. Come on, ball. Nope. How come the ball bounces like a rock off my... There we go. There we go. Oh. Now glue to my car and then fly over in front of that goal and then do a pancake against the wall to make it die. Sure. Maybe because I bursted too much. Maybe I should just not burst until I get in midair. And then, okay. So maybe you just drive up the wall and don't worry about bursting. Drive up the wall, don't worry about bursting. Yeah, there we go. Didn't quite deaden the ball, but... Like when I jumped, I got away from the ball, so maybe I shouldn't have jumped. Just boost? No, boosting just sticks to the wall, so I need to get a little bit off the wall. There we go. Hey, I touched it. And when it's when you're air dribbling, you want to keep the ball directly underneath or the car directly underneath so the nose is like below the middle of the ball and that can help you uh, keep the ball up. It's kind of hard to get into the position for that in the match though. You need like a special training uh, situation. Um, if you double click the space bar, it's supposed to show you a teammate. So if you're doing 2v2, but I'm not doing 2v2, so I'm not going to worry about that. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Don't jump at the ball if in their zone. Don't overcommit on attacks. Wall, wall, which I already showed. Bounce, dribble, circles, and zigzags. Ooh, those are good. So let's try that. Bounce, dribbling. See if I can get that going. I think you start by going, keeping the ball in the opposite direction, and then you start. Probably going way too fast. Seems like just regular driving around in circles. Oh, maybe if I go the opposite direction of the ball, I can keep the ball going. There we go. And then 
zigzags would be like if I changed direction. This car has like way too much horsepower. Something like that. Hold power slides for just 90 and not 180. So if I'm going and I need to do a power slide, that's when you hold down shift like that. And I, and I want to turn around at 180. Then instead of holding it the entire time, only hold it halfway. And then, of course, it's hard to remember to not hold it. There we go. It's hard to go left and not hold it because it's my ring finger and my pinky and they're not exactly coordinated. Right is easy. I just let go of the Ah, okay. It's a faster turnaround if you do that. That definitely was useful. All right. Um, go to own far post and rotate when not involved. So if we're doing three on three and we're going that direction, then I stay on the back post until it's my turn and then I come up to the front post and go attack and if it's not on my side I go back to the far post on the opposite side so if the balls on on that side I'd stay back here but if I was on this side then I'd be more apt to go to get it unless I have a teammate up there and only one teammate should be playing the ball at a time and the other two should be back in defensive places so that's like uh, awareness of having your right place, right time. Follow up hard hits with follow hits as soon as possible. Practice with the Tokyo underpass wall ball. Ah, Tokyo underpass wall ball. 